this is one of my tube amplifiers. I actually have a pair of these. Uh, this is a Stromberg Carlson PA amplifier. Um, 6L6 power tubes, which are right here. Uh, and this is a 5U4 rectifier. This is the tube driver, splitter driver. This is what converts the AC signal in, the audio AC signal in, into a push and a pull tube. These two are pre-amplifier tubes. They have a metal shield over them to keep out noise because they're very high gain. These are microphone preamp tubes. So the gain has to be very high so they would pick up a lot of noise. So they put a metal shield over them <clears throat> to keep the noise out. This is also a preamp. This is a 12AX7. This takes these, the signal from the two microphones and amplifies it again and to the driver which drives the output tubes. This is the output transformer. This one has a lot of taps on it. 4 ohms, 8 ohms, 16 ohms, 12.5 volts, 25, 35, and 70 volts because it's a PA amplifier. It could drive a long 70 volt line which would have transformers at each speaker like in a large building. This is the power transformer. This takes the AC voltage 120 out of your wall converts it to about 500 volts center tapped which is rectified through the 5U4 to feed the power tubes and then it's filtered down to a lower voltage probably 200 or 250 to do the preamp tubes and everything else. It also has a 5 volt output winding for the 5U4. It also has a 6 volt, 6.3 volt center tapped output to drive the filaments on all the tubes. These are, uh, I think these are uh, 6AU6, so these are 6 volt preamps. These 12AX7s have either the, they have the capability to be wired in series, which would be 12 volts, or in parallel, which is 6 volts, so they're wired in parallel. Of course, the 6L6s are 6 volt tubes as well. These are, this is the capacitor, and this is the capacitor for the power supply to filter the voltage. Um, this amp is rated at about 25 to 30 watts audio power. <clears throat> so you might be wondering why would you want a tube amplifier? I mean this thing is heavy. It probably weighs 40 pounds. I mean it's it's fragile. You, you can't set anything on there. Now they do have cages that came with these, a metal cage um, I put the rack ears on them. They were mounted in a rack for a while. But, um, you know, you can't drop it because the tubes will break. They might fall out. Um, you can't, um, you know, the tubes don't last as long as transistors. They get hot. They put out heat, you know, and, and they're, they're very expensive. To buy a new tube amplifier, you're talking thousands of dollars. You know, why, why would I want tube amplifiers when I could just go out and buy a transistor amplifier that would be about, well, a 25-watt transistor amplifier would be about that square and weigh about 5 pounds. You know, which one is better? I mean, if the tube amplifiers cost thousands of dollars, are they better? Yes and no. Um, that's kind of akin to politics. As soon as you say tube amplifiers are better, and all the people who like transistor amplifiers throw a fit. As soon as you say transistor amplifiers are better, then everybody who's a tube head like me, they throw a fit. Which one is better? Well, each one is good at what they do. It's kind of like fuel injection versus carburetor. Which one is better? Well, fuel injection, a lot less parts, stays in tune better, Good for the grocery getter, you know, driving around town, you want reliability, you want something that's going to last. That's like transistors. They're good at what they do. They're very clean. They're very, no distortion, you know. Transistors work good for home audio, anything high-end that you want good, clean sound. Tubes are like a hot rod, carburetor, loud mufflers, you know. They're only good for certain things, and it's not as reliable, so you don't, 
you know, if it's if it's not your daily driver, it's just something you tinker with on the weekends. That's kind of like tube amplifiers. You know, a lot of people made a lot of money for a lot of years in bands using tube amplifiers for their guitars. Um, are they louder? Um, sorta. It's hard to describe or explain why you might think that a tube amplifier is louder. The reason a tube amplifier watt for watt might be louder than a transistor amplifier is because the tubes distort. Tubes go into saturation or cutoff. They, they don't actually stop functioning. A transistor, if you drive a transistor so hard and it goes into cutoff so deep, it'll actually stop working for a second as that signal is so high. So that limits the amount of power that a transistor can put out. Whereas tubes, they will distort, but they will keep amplifying. You know, they keep, they keep amplifying the sound even though it's getting distorted. So for a fraction of a second, a tube, a tube might put out, if this, if this amplifier is rated at 30 watts, and you put a big bass thump through this amp, it might put out 45 watts for a split second. Now that's not going to be pristine, clean audio sound. There will be some distortion there, but more than likely your ear won't hear it. You're just going to hear this massive bass thump. Whereas transistors don't do that. In order to have the, the headroom in a transistor amp, you would need to buy, say, a 150 watt transistor amp to replace this 30 watt tube amp and have the same amount of headroom before the sound gets distorted enough that your ear can hear it. A transistor distorts almost instantly when it reaches that cutoff point. It cannot function above that. Its design does not allow it. Whereas a tube is more forgiving. Um, <clears throat> a lot of guitar players like the sound of tube amps because of the distortion. Now, you can, on a guitar amplifier, there's a knob that's called gain, and there's a knob that's called volume. Gain is preamp. Gain is how much signal you're putting through the preamp. Volume is how much signal you're putting through the power amp. There's a difference between preamp distortion and power amp distortion. If you turn the volume way down and turn the gain way up, you will get preamp distortion. The preamp tubes, you will overdrive them, you will put too much signal through them, and they will distort and you can go a little bit of gain or turn the gain way up and get more crunch but tubes are very mellow when they distort now if you turn everything wide open you're probably going to get a lot of power amp power tube distortion that's a different kind of a sound it's harsher um, a lot of guitar players like that organ players an example is John Lord he turned his Leslie up to 11 you know if it would go that far and it overdrove it so that you get that nice crunchy buzzing distortion in the in the Leslie. That's the sound you're looking for. Transistor distortion is not the same. Transistor distortion is like turning an AM radio up too loud. I mean that's that's my opinion. Everybody has their own opinion. But so anyway, that's the basics of tube amplifiers. Now I have several tube amplifiers. Um, I don't know if anybody's interested in seeing them all, but I will do a little clip of a couple of my other amps and show you the various parts of them, and we'll call this series done for now until I get some feedback as to if there's any questions or anything.